This video instruction shows how to use Amazon Fire Tablet as eSongbook for Cavs karaoke players that are of fourth generation, such as JB1994 Online, JB1994 Mini 2, and Play CDG Online. The fourth generation players are the Cavs' latest development with a built in web server inside each player. They have the advantage that any device with a browser, including Amazon Fire Tablet, can work as eSongbook. Note that we do not use or assume internet access in this instruction. Although internet is widely available, it may not be allowed by the venues such as bars and restaurants to use the service for reasons of safety or security. We thus assume no internet and demonstrate using only a local network to connect the Amazon Fire Tablet. Obviously, this instruction is still valid when the internet is available. However, when the internet is available, we would consider an alternate way to connect and that is a subject of next coming instruction. To set up a local network, simply connect the Cavs karaoke player to a wireless router. The connection between the Cavs karaoke player and the router can be a LAN, cable, or wireless. Note that when using a LAN cable, Connect to a LAN port in the router, not a WAN port. A WAN port is reserved for internet source. Having a router connected, it is next important to find the SSID, which is also called the Wi-Fi name, and the password of the router. To do this, you look at the bottom of the router for a label with the information. Here we see two SSIDs, one for 2.4G connection and another for 5G connection. Note that the SSID and password information on the label is valid if the router has the factory default setting. That is, there has not been any manual change to the router. If there has been a change, we need to reset the router. The reset procedure is typically to press and hold the reset button on the back of the router for 5 to 7 seconds. The detailed reset instruction should be in the router's user manual. Next, we need to find the IP address of the Cavs karaoke player assigned by the router. To do this, we go to the JB1994 player. In the customer interface, you can see the IP address at the URL address field. You can also find it in the control panel by going to Tools, Settings, Server and Browser. You can see the IP address, including the port number 5000. Now, we have the local network setup and all information needed. Next, we open the Amazon Fire Tablet. The first step is to connect the Wi-Fi of the Amazon Fire Tablet to the local network router. Here, we know the SSID to be Fios-DCC9C and the password to be XXX. Note that when the router is connected, it also shows that there is no internet. Next, open the Amazon Silk Browser in the Amazon Fire Tablet. Type in the IP address of the Cavs Karaoke Player, which is 192.168.1.151.5000. Press Enter. The customer interface of the JB1994 appears. Uncheck the desktop mode. Click on title. Select the song. Next input your name as the singer and preset the pitch and tempo. Click on Q to reserve. Next click on return button for the home page and press play. You will see the lyrics on the screen. Click on the mute button at the top for music. While playing a song, you can also change the pitch and tempo of the song. Press stop to stop the play. While a song is in play, you can also continue to select another song. Click on title, click on artist, then you will see all the songs performed by the artist. Select the song as before and return. 
you will see the song currently in play. Press next to play the next selected song. Press stop to stop the play. Note that the customer interface of the CAPS karaoke player can appear in any browser in any device. This includes the Amazon Silk browser in Amazon Fire tablet. This is the advantage of the CAPS karaoke players that are fourth generation with a built-in server. Next, we address two concerns in the connecting of Amazon Fire tablet to CAPS karaoke player. The first is to set the Wi-Fi of the Amazon Fire tablet to the local network router, the same router that CAVS karaoke player is connected to. As shown before, this requires selecting a correct SSID followed by inputting a password. The password, however, can be long and not so easy to type in. In the same manner, the second concern is the difficulty of inputting the IP address of the CAVS karaoke player in the Amazon Silk browser. The IP address requires an exact format and can be hard, especially for non-technical customers. A solution for both concerns is to use QR codes. That is, a QR code can be generated to set or change the Wi-Fi automatically when it is read by the Amazon Fire tablet. Our QR code can also be made to input an IP address automatically when it is read by the Amazon Fire tablet. To demonstrate this, we go online and search for a QR code generator. This can be done in both CAVS Karaoke Player or Amazon Fire Tablet. Here we use the CAVS Karaoke Player. Going online, there are many QR code generators that are free. We select one and choose Wi-Fi. Input the SSID of the Wi-Fi name and the password of the router. Click on Generate and you have the QR code. Next, using any graphic editor, which we are using Snagit here, copy the QR code and save. Going back to the QR code generator, we select URL. Here we input http colon slash slash 192.168.1.151 colon 5000, which is the IP address of the CAVS karaoke player. Note that we have put in a header http colon slash slash in front of the IP address. This is not necessary, but some old phones and tablets require the header when reading the IP address. Again, using a graphic editor, we copy the QR code and save. Next, to show that QR codes really work, we open the saved copies of the QR codes for Wi-Fi and the IP address. Next, in the Amazon Fire tablet, we first confirm that the Wi-Fi is off.
Now, use a QR code scanner, a free app from the Amazon App Store to read the QR codes. First is the Wi-Fi QR code. You can see that the Wi-Fi details are captured in the Amazon Fire tablet. Click on Connect. Next, scan the QR code of the IP address. Click on Open, and here is the customer interface. Here, the Amazon Fire tablet had to simply scan two QR codes to get to the customer interface. There were no inputting of the Wi-Fi password or the IP address. You can print out the QR codes, perhaps laminate them, and put them on the tables for the customers. This ends our video instruction.